Sure, working as a YouTuber can be great, man, but there's certain times when you just think, I don't want to go to work today. Oh, what's up, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you're doing well, man. I really do hope that despite if you're a Chelsea fan, you're probably rather annoyed, frustrated, disappointed, depressed, or all of the above. Yes, indeed, this is going to be a match review of sorts of Chelsea's demolition, or Sheffield United's demolition of Chelsea in the Premier League. Ugh. Sheffield at home, 3-0 winners, probably should have had more really, they absolutely nailed Chelsea, sussed them out in every single way, Chelsea completely devoid of creativity ideas, I've never been watching a match so few minutes in and thought I don't really need to watch the rest of this because there's no way Chelsea can do anything here. Partially because of the players, partially because of the manager, a collective, I suppose. Obviously, I'm a huge advocate of Frank Lampard, but maybe it's a personnel thing. Just looking at what was happening, nothing was going to happen, for Chelsea at least. Now, I really want to take an opportunity before I crack into this properly to offer a lot of like respect and uh, congratulations to Sheffield United who are having an immense and incredible season. Uh, they've got an incredible story with um, Wilder, the coach, and to, it's a superb performance. They were bad at the beginning of the restart, they've picked up recently and they've certainly continued that playing really well against Chelsea. Oh yeah, <laughs> why not subscribe to this channel? As you can see it's loads of fun, so if you haven't subbed already, drop a sub and like the video please. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm not going to open the analysis screen today, although, have a look at the who scored graphic. I'm going to open it in front of you now. Ding, ding. Have a look. Soak it in. Chelsea did not do well in this game. They started with a 4-3-3, went to a 3-4-3, then went to a 3-5-2 with Willian in the 10 behind Tammy Abraham and Olivier Giroud, something which we haven't seen since pre-season, I don't think. Probably since a year. And then Callum Hudson-Odoi came on for Reese James and Frank Lampard went to a back four, changing the formation yet again. He tried a lot of different things in this game and Chelsea had no answer to Chris Wilder's resolute I don't want, you, don't want to say defensive because that's like disrespectful resolute and industrious Sheffield United side let's see if I can pull up any other stats that we might find interesting well at time of recording understat has not yet published the expected goals for this game which is a shame because I would be interested in learning what it is so perhaps I was going to say I'll get back to you on that, but I won't get back to you on that. As soon as this video is done, we will never speak of this game again. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you who scored. Obviously, two goals from a goal Drake hadn't scored in about 27 games. 27 games hadn't scored. Obviously, scores a brace against Chelsea. You know, it's just how it works. But 2-0 would not be enough of the curse of the new sponsor. <laughs> Oh god. So McBurney gets one in between to make it 3-0. And to be honest, man, Musa probably should have had a goal as well. Uh, one on one with the keeper, chips him, goes slightly wide. Probably should have done better. Let's have a look at the Chelsea players. So, uh, Chelsea did have a bunch of shots in this game, but only four on target. And those four came from the two strikers, Abraham, Giroud, Barkley, and Ezpilicueta. Abraham didn't have a good game by any stretch of the imagination, but he actually had five shots. The next highest was two, and a couple of them were pretty close. He had a header, and also he got on the far post at the end of a corner and just put it wide, so I suppose that was a near goal. But to be honest, man, no one played well in this game. Literally no one. To be honest, maybe the subs, bar Rudiger, were better than the players that Saar did. I'm looking at the stats now. It is all dismal, dude. Reese James actually made the most key passes with three and had a relatively good pass completion rate. But to be honest, man, even if he was like okay in this game, he was poor defensively and he combined really badly with Willian. Usually he combines really well with Callum Hudson Adoy, but he came off for Callum Hudson Adoy to come on. No correlation there. Now, I can be angry and upset with Frank Lampard, um, but. In terms of on the pitch, 
Um, I don't know where my criticisms would lie exactly. He didn't start Rudiger, who was frustrating people of late. He played Christensen and Kurt Zuma, great. He played Rhys James, great. I think everyone would have been happy with Azpilicueta at left back. Ross Barkley, he's been good of late as well. Not the most inspirational. I think we all probably would have preferred to see Ruben Loftus-Cheek starting. We all expected Jorginho to start. He had a pretty bad game, to be honest, man, especially towards the latter stages. When Chelsea started crumbling and in Imploding within. Willian looks absolutely gassed out, who's probably been our joint player of the restart. Pulisic did look okay in the earlier stages, to be fair to him, but he caught the sort of, you know, like airborne disease, not COVID, just Chelsea lack of creativity disease. And he, like the rest of the crop of players, were devoid of confidence, creativity, direct play. It was all very sad. I am pleased that Frank Lampard did make so many changes, he used three different formations in this game and at least by doing that he's showing an assertive will to change, to try and affect the game and do different things, you know, a lot of people uh, saw similar performances last season under Maurizio Sarri and of course he would never change formation, he would never change his tactical approach, but you know, sometimes that works, much like Chris Wilder, apparently like for the last like two years or something or plus I can't remember the stat exactly they've been playing with that free back system and why stop man when it works oh boy it works and it's got them to an incredible heights with those players but yeah regarding Frank Lampard and his tactical approach to this game I'm not too bummed out because at least he tried to change things He's, you know this is one of those moments where you kind of got to think oh yeah he is a sort of young manager learning his trade and what he's done here is shown the will to try and affect the game be pragmatic uh, look at it objectively, make changes, which is great, but the answers weren't there today. And to be honest, man, look at Chris Wilder. He is a coach long in the tooth. He knows exactly what he's dealing with, even if he's going against, like, you know, amazing, like, players that Chelsea have, or <laughs> good players that Chelsea have. He knows how to deal with them. He knew how to deal with us today. In hindsight, which is unfair to always criticise a coach with the power of hindsight, but... Yeah, Ruben Loftus-Cheek probably would have offered something different playing between the lines as a midfielder. And, you know, I understand why he didn't start Callum hudson Doy. I do understand that. But, you know, combinational play with Reese James on the right flank and Willian being completely gassed out from so many games as a 31-year-old in the short succession of time. Mmm... So it's a disappointing day and it leaves us in a very precarious position moving forward. Of course, if both Leicester and Manchester United win, I think we can be knocked out of the top... F we can be knocked out of the top six almost? Things can go incredibly badly and if the rumours are to be believed that Manchester City are having their ban overturned, then Chelsea are in a beyond precarious situation and may well be going into next season with no Champions League football. Thank goodness Hakim Ziyech arrived at Cobham today. Hopefully we've chained him down to the property so he can't run away. And hopefully Timo Werner does eventually come back from his holiday and joins up with the Blues because this is a worrying situation. But to be honest, it's not really a time to be thinking of next season and the incoming players. It's a time to reflect on what was an incredibly disappointing, a profoundly disappointing performance from Chelsea. And to be honest, man, I'm going to call it now. This is Chelsea's worst performance of the season. There it is. I genuinely do believe that. You know, I tweeted out this is worse than Chelsea's 4-0 loss against United. But to be honest, I have reflected on that. Chelsea played well against United that day. Like, I remember football analyst and writer Michael Cox saying that it's the most ridiculous 4-0 he has ever seen, where he actually felt Chelsea played better than Manchester United that day. But it was just such an absurdist situation where we got done on the counter and lost 4-0. So I actually think Chelsea were good, creative and risk-taking that day. And Chelsea didn't have any of that today. We conceded nearly the same amount of goals, but with no passage of play where we looked genuinely threatening when we can do something. One thing's for sure, brothers and sisters, Frank Lampard is going to be super angry at the players. And I wonder what happens next. I wonder if he has a meeting with anyone. <laughs> if like, people will get benched or not benched. I mean, stuff's got to happen. There's got to be a shakedown here, man. Anyway, what do you guys think? 
I'm understandably very, very disappointed, angry, and upset with it, but, you know, we move, man. It's only football. Chelsea is still an exciting project, and we've got some exciting players to come in, but these, you know, you've been humbled, dude. Leave your comments uh, down below. Please do drop a like on the video to show your support, and do subscribe if you're new, because usually videos are a lot more upbeat than this, and also I upload daily on my second channel, Yan's Yard. Link in at the top of the description. I'm out, people. Uh, enjoy the football if you can. Peace. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.